Hello everybody, this is Metal Rose and this is Metal Rose's Heavy Metal History Corner. Here are a couple of cool things that happened this week in heavy metal history. On June 22nd, 1991, Jimi Hendrix's lyrics to Room Full of Mirrors sold for $35,200 at a New York State auction. On June 22nd, 1993, Ozzy Osbourne changes his mind yet again about his retirement and says he will reunite with Black Sabbath for a tour. On June 23rd, 1975, Alice Cooper fell from a stage in British Columbia and he broke six ribs. Ouch! On June 23rd, 1977, a very inebriated Keith Moon joined Led Zeppelin on stage in Los Angeles. He played the timpani on Moby Dick and Rock and Roll and then proceeded to call John Bonham the best living rock drummer in the world. Yeah, I think he was pretty right. <laughs> On June 23, 1984, Van Halen released its all-time driving classic, Panama. <laughs> On June 23, 2004, the Beastie Boys album, To the Burrows, entered the United States charts at number one. On June 23, 2006, Robert Plant led the bill for a June 23 benefit concert for Love Principal Arthur Lee, who was battling leukemia. On June 24, 2010, Ozzy Osbourne did a major interview with the Associated Press to promote his album at the time, Scream. And I must say, it's a pretty awesome album. On June 25, 1998, goth rock band Marilyn Manson was forced to miss its appearance at a festival in Denmark due to drummer Ginger Fish's bout with mononucleosis. Bummer. On June 26, 2003, Deep Purple sent a whole bunch of emails to their fans announcing that their new album will be called Bananas. Fans were completely irate over the ridiculous name. <laughs> I don't blame them. On June 26, 2005, Nine Inch Nails closed the Coachella Festival in California. Woo! <laughs> On June 26, 1980, John Bonham, the drummer from Led Zeppelin, who we just spoke about, collapsed on stage during a gig in Nuremberg, West Germany. Mm. <laughs> on June 26, 2006, Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose was arrested after allegedly biting a security guard in the leg outside his hotel room. Doesn't surprise me, Axl Rose. <laughs> On June 28, 1997, Radiohead went number one in the UK charts with their album OK Computer, which is definitely one of my favorite albums of all time. On June 28, 2000, singer of both Audio Slave and Soundgarden, Chris Cornell, and his wife, Susan Silver, became parents of their daughter, Lillian Jean. Well, that's all I have for you guys this week. Please visit my website, www.heavymetalrose.com. I update it every week. And please visit my band's website and buy some merchandise at www.orbinot.com. See you guys all next week. Love you. Bye-bye.